Hi there, Roger Burnley, vocal coach here, and welcome to this video. So I'm gonna answer a few questions. The first one that I want to deal with is, what is the mass? The mask. <laughs> All the vocal coaches talk about this for me, <laughs> magical thing, the mask. And I have no clue what they are talking about. Okay, let me try and explain that because uh, people, different coaches may even have different theories or different ideas about what they consider to be the mask. For me, the mask is the place where your voice naturally should sit. That may not make a lot of sense, but I'm going to try to explain it to you. Okay, most people will have you try to imagine that sitting here okay in your face and that's why they call it the mask but let me talk about this we all form different ways of singing and 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 speaking actually you can hear it all the time when you with your friends family and anyone you know you know that there are distinct differences in the way that some people speak okay the very natural way for you to speak is what i consider to be the mask you can vary that to get different sounds or create different timbres of your voice and to speak in really high voices. That's not your natural mask or your natural place. However, it becomes very important for you to first find what your mask is. Now, let me explain this too. People who have a tendency of speaking where they're always kind of back in their throat they're really causing a lot of stress on their vocal cords. And this is why over a certain period of time, as they age, as they get elderly, let's say, those voices are really, really deep. That does not have to happen if you learn how to keep your voice or train your voice to produce sound in a way that keeps it really healthy. The vocal cords do not have to deteriorate as you get older. Then you will have other people who are always talking way up here and they begin the sound of that becomes a little annoying that's outside of the mask as well and so one little trick that you can do your natural way of speaking or producing sound is going to be so effortless and and this is why i use a lot you know working with the swallowing muscles because when the swallowing muscles are getting engaged it's connected to everything in your your physical body your 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 um, gastrointestinal system and all of that so when they're working when they're not supposed to be in terms of when you're eating is when they're supposed to work but when they're working when you're singing or or speaking, when that's happening too much, you're invariably causing a little bit of, of friction, let's say, on your vocal cords. So one thing that you can do is just sit and just talk with your hands under here and feel if those muscles are coming down. If they are, pronounce your words a little bit more. You'll start to find that your sound will kind of stay in what this place, where I call it, where you're always hearing it staying above your cheeks. That's really your mask. That's where your natural voice should sit. Now, again, as I said, I work with a lot of voiceover artists, for instance, and um, they have to change their voices to create different sounds or different characters and all of that. And we want to do that always in a healthy place. So what I'm always doing with them is first getting them to find that natural position for their voice. Once you find that, then you can make vari variations on that that it, that's not going to necessarily damage your voice. Like I can talk here and keep my, and get my voice in a deeper place, but I'm still feeling that I'm maintaining this control again above my cheeks. That's no, telling me that I'm not going too far back or going back in my throat, which is going to invariably cause a little bit of damage. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of an exercise here. I'm just going to do it on a lip drill, which you probably all are doing. But I want you to try to hear as I go through this where I'm maintaining that position still in what I call the mask. Let me just try to start here. <laughs> Now I want you to pay attention to something. Hopefully you can hear this. Even as I'm coming down, I'm still maintaining it here. I'm not allowing it to fall back in my throat. Okay, this is how you're gonna to start to get in touch with where that your mask is. And that mask for you is always gonna be your natural way of producing sound, okay?
okay, sorry, I'm not using my hands. Um, I've been doing this forever, so I can get away with doing this without necessarily using my hands. For many of you in the beginning, it might be necessary for you to use your hands here as you're doing this. It'll be a little bit easier for you to feel the position and, and, and that, that you're keeping it in that place. And again, whenever you're coming down, it's still there and that's that place you're finding that mask. Then when you go to sing, what you're gonna to start to find is that you're gonna to start to resonate. You're gonna to start to find that place a little bit more. So that's basically what it means for me. And again, you may find other coaches will have a different little explanation of that um, and, or, or different way of using it. But you're always trying to find what is natural and, and, and feels good basically on your voice where you're not getting hoarse or starting to um, strain as you're singing anything. So I really hope you enjoyed that video and it made a little more sense for you. And if you like more of my videos, be sure and click the link to see more of them. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.